Welcome to our Too Posh Podcast. I am Gabrielle. I'm here with my two amazing favorite co-hosts, my daughter Marcella. Hi. And Bernie. Hi. Yeah, We are all together. So my goodness. It's like this Finally. COVID-19 shutdown pandemic yeah. is insane. And I don't like it at all. We are and over it. We cannot have any guests yet. It's and sad. um not more co-hosts. We had we had like kind of because we're family, we'll count as one. <laughs> I guess. That's right. Yeah. So, um, but we just wanted to tell everyone thank you so much for listening to us. We are at I think almost forty one thousand downloads, and we appreciate it. Please subscribe and please write a review if you feel so inclined, and please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, yes, and do it. Click that bell so you know every time when a new episode comes out because we release just now just the party with Miss Polly, mm. just the question of the day, and then the actual episode. So it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So if Miss Polly is your favorite part, we have sections for that. Exactly. Or if you like our question of the day, the best, and not the rest of the show, you can just find that. Yeah. <laughs> Those on you too. <laughs> that would suck if that was like the favorite part. No one wants to hear us. Like, we just want to hear the question. <laughs> Some people say they love that part though. Mm-hmm. So I thought it'd be funny to just take them out. It or maybe good. they just need, they don't have enough time to listen to all the things. So they want the really That's quick. Well, it's always, good. It's always <laughs> yeah. good questions for sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, episodes 200 and 201, I started talking about basically my life story and um, how I ended up in the New York mafia, basically coming from Linz, Austria, this small town. And please go listen to episodes 200 and 201 to catch up because I don't want to tell the whole story again Mm -hmm. every time. So, um, but let's pick up from when... Peter said he had to go to the USA for two months because he had to handle business because everything changed. When I met him, I, I mean, he moved me in this amazing hotel that had its own bungalow. It was like, I say, I said it, the title of the episode is also, I felt like Julia Roberts, just not the escort (laughs) part. (laughs) Not the prostitute part. (laughs) So, um, good parts. That's how it literally was, you know, everything was like that. And, from one second to the, I mean, I had only known him for a very short time and from one second to the next, everything changed, but I didn't know what had changed. I didn't realize that his friends, Sonny, Michael and Larry were mob bosses, Michael Francisi, Sonny Francisi and Larry Iorizzo. I had no idea. So what are you, so what's life like at this point? So, you know, you're, just, you're referencing the, the pretty woman thing, right? So <laughs> anyone who's seen it, if you haven't seen it, you need to, get out of your life, <laughs> yeah. right? it's old school it's a yes. good movie you have to watch it. but uh so your life is just carefree relax it's yeah I'm, good. I'm 24 living the life yeah I, i'm in vienna which i moved to vienna i didn't live in Linz anymore and so yeah living the life and yeah. then here this comes this person that sends me these crazy flowers every single day and just God. takes me shopping for fur coats and he was determined jewelry and Mission accomplished, yeah. apparently. I mean, it was just so... Here I am! <laughs> <laughs> it was such a whirlwind that it was just crazy. And so, at the time, like, we lived in that bungalow hotel part for a while. And then he actually rented a house. There was this huge house in Vienna, gorgeous, own pool. I mean, it was, like, I'm telling you, this. Was, it sounds like a movie. That's what my life was like. And it was from one day to the next. So, I couldn't even comprehend yeah. most of everything. But this was when he said that he had to go to USA for two months and he wanted me to come with him. Wow. And I was thinking, well, I mean, everybody can do anything for two months, right? I mean, it's not that long. And and you'd never been to the USA? I'd been one other time because I used to date an oil sheik, Saudi Arabian oil sheik. You missed that part. She was mad because my brother and I could not get up. Like, she's trying to talk about this and we could not get over the oil sheet guy i kind of like i'm on that right now what was the, how long did you date this guy for about a year what is that like dating someone because it's crazy i mean that's like insane, insane like that's what it's like printing money kind of like insane that's what it's like that's crazy what was the craziest thing you saw out of that we'll get to this i just want to I'll, I'll get off this but <laughs> the crazy it? thing about that and it's sad that that's all i remember is that he was a controlling 
They're like, uh, I think I've, they're known yeah, for that. That yeah, was for sure. so mean and so like not nice that that's all I remember. It was like not a good experience <laughs> at all. So, wow. <laughs> but that kind of made me used to being really super spoiled. Mm-hmm. So when Peter came in and did all those things, it was kind of like really exciting, but I was also a little used to it. <laughs> like yeah. I haven't expected it. I know it sounds like a brat, but yeah, no, it does. that's what it was <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like. Why can't that ever happen for like the guy? It always happens for the girl. Well, obviously. To. I'm just saying, why not? This is my question. I like it. So you want a sugar mama? I will take a sugar mama. I, of course. So, There's somebody. websites for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. Like, I'm a little too old for that right now, but. No, you're not. I don't know. Let's let's you're create. Never too let's, old. let's create a profile. Let's see if we can find. There you go. Know. Good looking. It's fine. I, I don't know. know. Age matters. Let's create it. Where, what's the website? Oh, we'll create it. Spider. Spider. <laughs> Spider. What's the website? That's a good question. I can't uh, remember. I it's on sure one of the episode, right. old It is on an so. old episode. Uh, we'll we're find check this. It. We're gonna find you this out. You should. We'll set it up That's for so you. Funny. You would be an amazing guy I for agree. sugar mama. I agree. Amazing sugar baby. I'm just saying. That's so awesome. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so anyways, like this is when Larry Iorizzo, who was Peter's best friend, had gotten arrested in Panama. And um, what, but he, I wasn't told that someone got arrested. I was just told there was like huge problems and he had to go for business. I felt so much stress and so much like insanity because I'm in this house by myself, right? We have no kids and in Vienna and he had to leave and he goes, I'm going to send you a ticket and you need to just move. And then I was kind of going, even though I can do anything for (laughs) two months, I am going to go, I need to go visit first. So he was like, okay, fine. I send you a ticket and you come visit. And I was like, okay, so that panic, I was still panicking, going, what am I doing even doing that? That's crazy, Because this too. is super unfamiliar territory. You're talking about moving, like, I would country. think about, yeah, different country. country. I'm thinking about, like, I, Europe. I that would be crazy, right? I barely speak the language. I mean, wow. I I know as much as you learn in school. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I of didn't. Course. I wasn't ever here. I didn't need to speak English. So it was very broken yep. English. So... <laughs> It just makes me laugh. <laughs> did Peter, did he speak, I mean... No, he didn't speak German. So that's why I didn't figure out how, that he was, was like, lying to me. how did that work? He was lying about everything. But they actually, she has told us, and it makes sense, but they say that if you, like, my mom, a lot of people question her, like, well, she knew and stuff, but there is, like, a proven fact that she didn't speak English. So it's a lot harder to detect lies from somebody... I don't know. Here's what I think. I think who gives a fuck, right? I mean, at that point, like. It, it, but she had no clue. Really? I, I really didn't know. No, know I, I believe you. And I mean, <laughs> but if, I mean, you know, something crazy happening, why question it so much? Exactly. I know people are going to probably be like, what the hell with saying that? But it's true. It's yeah, not it's true. And you're getting all the benefit of it. Oh, it was saying. fun. I was yeah. young, you know, and it was fun. That's the thing. I, I even say it sometimes today. I'm like. There was some fun parts to that life that <laughs> was just it. no doubt about it at all. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I got on the plane and I know I was kind of when I landed. I remember being like thinking to myself, "What are you doing? Like, what How are you even doing?" I, the flight I don't remember. I remember landing. I had to go through customs. And where did you land? In JFK oh, Airport, too, Town right? of Kennedy Airport, and you know the. The doors that open from international arrival. I've never flown international, oh, so I don't know. It's just so strange because you go through customs and there's these glass doors and they open. It's almost like a bit, like a, this big thing opens up to this big world kind of thing. <laughs> New world. Uh-huh. And yeah. I remember walking towards it and I the door opened for other people that were closer and I could see him, Peter, standing there with his brother-in-law, Adam. And I remember thinking, what are you doing? <sighs> All I wanted to do was turn around and go back home. How long have you and Peter been together? Uh, two months. Oh, about. Wow. wow. Come to another country. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> I remember so much panic. I cannot explain it. I didn't want to go through that door. Did not want to go through that door. I was like, what are you doing? I wanted to turn around so bad. And. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm sorry. That's nuts. I felt so sick to my stomach. But. I worked through. <laughs> and so um, 
that part was really cool though because being in New York City all of a oh, sudden. Oh God, that's awesome. And New York is so I mean that not was right now New York. Really but cool. New but York, New York we know. Yes. In New York, oh man. You could people watch for the entire trip. It was just, it's just the an energy, thing. I yes. feel like. Yes. And it was so an cool energy. because we were in the car and driving over the bridge and this is no joke. I thought he did it on purpose, it was an accident. Frank Sinatra in New York, New York came on on the radio. Oh, nice. I still remember it. It was just like, I was like, oh my goodness, this was so amazing. It so was when really did, when unbelievable. When did that feeling come in from the time you're like, oh, holy shit. The, I mean, around. literally that's right in the when in New the York, car, New York, that's cool. in the car, it was so, it was really, really unbelievable. And we went to his sister's house in um, Queens, Howard Beach. That's where I'm from, Queens. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's so, that. right. I didn't know that that's too. Right. And, I remember walking in that house and it was really odd because this is the first time I've ever seen something like that. She had plastic over her couches, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that when I was young, my grandma had plastic. It was plastic. just a way to it protect the, the couch. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my it's, life. It's either to protect the couch or to keep blood from someone getting shot. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Good thought. So... <laughs> When I was like, God, that's so strange. I ne- and no one does that in Europe. No. I've never seen that before in my life, right? And then I remember, and don't forget, I spoke very broken. English. I mean, I had a hard time understanding things, but all of a sudden, Peter is telling me a story <laughs> that where his sister lives is only a few streets away where John Gotti lives. Oh my God. Where he used to live. And I'm like, I don't know who that is, right? <laughs> and. He goes, yeah, and then the sister and them, they start talking. I'm doing a little side mafia story right now um, about John Gotti's middle son getting killed and what happened. So I'm going to read this to you. And this was just streets away from where. (laughs) And so this is just imagine I just landed in New York City. We're at the sister's house and this is the story they're telling me. Oh, my God. So um, (laughs) on March 18th, 1980 which at this time was only five years before. So that's why it was still big news and everyone was still talking about it. Um, Gotti's middle son, 12-year-old Frank Gotti, was run over and killed on a family friend's minibike by a neighbor, John Favera. Frank's death was ruled an accident, but Favera subsequently received death threats and was attacked by Gotti's wife, Victoria, with a baseball bat when he visited to Gotti's to apologize. So imagine... Wow! Imagine like you totally by accident kill. Oh, I remember. John I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I remember this. Like story. I might as well just die myself. And kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll jump off the Brooklyn yeah. Bridge real quick. You're a dead person. I for mean, sure. can you even imagine? That is insane. So, this happened on March 18th, and on July 28th, he was abducted and disappeared. <laughs> According to the FBI, before Favera and his family were able to move, he was shoved into a van by several men near his place of business. There were several witnesses to the abduction and accounts ranged from him being beaten with a baseball bat, shot with a silenced twenty two caliber, or both. Accounts differed on what was done with his body. One account said that while he was alive, he was dismembered with a chainsaw and stuffed into a barrel filled with concrete and dumped in the ocean or buried somewhere on the chop shop lot. After the abduction, Favera's wife and two sons moved out of Howard Beach. (laughs) And changed their name. (laughs) Good call. Good call. John was declared legally dead in 1983. In November 2004, informants led the FBI to excavate a parking lot in New York City suspected to be a mob graveyard and the site of Favera's body. While two bodies were found, his was not among them. His was in cement. <laughs> yeah. Box. Dismembered. That's what, crazy. Why do I believe that one? The most? That's the one I totally uh, believe. Yeah. John Gotti is no joke, man. Yeah. Back then, especially then, you kill oh his 12 year old son. I Shit. know. Sorry, that was an accident, yeah. but you will accidentally You're, lose your head. That's though. right. Sorry. <laughs> when questioned by two detectives on his disappearance, John Gotti said, I'm not sorry the guy's missing. I wouldn't be sorry if the guy turned up dead. Previously, prosecutors believed Favera's remains were stuffed in a barrel of concrete yeah. and tossed off the sheep go with shed that one. Bay Pier. I go with that one. But then the mob hitman Charles Carniglia killed, was accused of killing him and disposing of his body in acid. <laughs> or that one. Or that I one. Mean, 
pick one, I any know. one of those, they're all pretty Equally horrible. rough. Because <laughs> I got to imagine that I'm making a pure assumption because of how crazy and gangster and ruthless John Gotti and those guys were, that they probably went with the most painful, like heinous, insane. Especially yeah. that. Like you killed yeah. their son. I mean, you're going to do acid. You're yeah. going to live and you're going to be. Maybe <laughs> and you're going to feel this. Someone's going to, yeah, absolutely yeah. as slow as possible. I can see them cutting their limbs off. Yeah. Either one. Alive. Either All of one. one. Oh, it's just crazy that this has been a real conversation that happened. We're going to cut one finger off at oh, a time. <laughs> I got to do that way. I yeah. <laughs> Not that I've one done toe, that. I'm just saying. Finger. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would do it that way. So that's <laughs> what was. I mean, I and I was like, what? I, you know, it's hard. It's hard to think back this way today. But I was like, God, that's crazy. But I don't think I paid that much attention. Like I wouldn't even like know a news story. Or and something. I didn't know who John Gotti was or what. Because I really didn't know that there was really a mafia. I know that people are going to say so, that's not so true. So they're but telling you the story. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, because it but was only streets away from yeah, where but say, I wouldn't be. I would be more, especially if you were truly not knowing anything about what Peter does or his associations. I wouldn't think anything about the story. Me neither. Just I just feel like it's just a news story, story that happened in exactly. your neighborhood. Oh wow, it just happened right down the road. This is crazy. <laughs> right. You never. I would never think to correlate the two. No. Right. So. So, um, <laughs> so still crazy, then though. something that did, like, I remember it still today because it was very odd because he then was talking to his sister and then they went in her attic and I was like, what are you doing there? And he goes, oh, I just, it's like my bank account. I have money up there. I just get money from up there. And I was like, what? It's my like, bank. <laughs> in thinking, the attic. Oh, that's crazy. I thought that was very Did you go up there? Strange. Did you ever see the bank? Eventually. I didn't that time, but. God. Later on, I did, but I'll tell that story yes. another time. But I remember thinking how strange that was. I remember the the stairs coming down, them going up there. I thought it was so freaking weird. Like an attic pull down? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was so weird. It was. You're right. <laughs> you were totally right on that. Was that wasn't normal at all. So strange. <laughs> now, remember that Larry Irizzo, that was Peter's best friend, who you didn't hear this story? I just want to touch on it. He had rented a seven forty seven because his oldest daughter was going to get married in Austria. A plane? He, a plane. Yeah. He was. He, he had, that's a big is, ass plane. That's my yes. godfather. Yeah, that's my that's godfather. That's a massive seven forty seven. So that was the plan. They were going to the whole wedding party. Family and friends were coming there, but that had to be canceled because whatever was going on in the business, everything came to a halt. But I didn't know what happened. But Larry had gotten arrested. In Panama. And I tell more about that in, two, in episode 201, but. Um, a seven four, I'm sorry, I just pulled that up to yeah. justify <laughs> that. So the car, oh my gosh, that's like a. It's huge. That's insane. So we had to go. I remember this was my time where I was just going to visit. But the one thing he said, I do have to do one thing while you're here. And we had to go to Larry's wife's house rosemary's house i remember and we drove up this humongous mansion right and we walked in and i had to because i'm nobody i just landed in new york right i had not met these people she says hi and then i had to sit in the living room by myself while they had the little conversation somewhere off i didn't know what's happening what do you mean nothing just i didn't know but i found out later this is all the stuff that then you put things together. I found out later because Larry was arrested. Yeah. So Peter, they had to talk about. Wow, money. this is crazy. So, and- so <laughs> for anyone who's just getting into this, this is really. If you guys have ever met Gabby at all, <laughs> just to actually hear this story, and I'm wild. My wows are real wows because anyone who knows John Gotti or that whole history of all these people and crazy, you've only heard stories, right? Mm-hmm. I mean the, the John Gotti story. I just, I remember reading that. So we're watching a, a video about it and thinking jaw dropped of like, Oh, that guy got killed for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. But to, just hearing this side of it where you're like a couple blocks away from the house, and this is your association <laughs> yeah. and you're not even knowing it is crazy. It was, that's so nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, it was, what was crazy was sitting in Rosemary's house. Now this is a, co- John Gotti is a different family, but Larry Irizzo yeah. is from the Colombo family with the Francesi. <laughs> so crazy. So now I'm sitting in Larry Irizzo's house with his wife, Rosemary, and Peter. In another room, I hear whispering, lots of whispering. And I'm so mad because I don't understand the language 
well enough, but I want to know what they're talking about. <laughs> so I do ask him afterwards and he said, oh, no, you know, there's some business stuff going on. I just had to figure out how to how I was still going to get paid. And um, let me just like pause really fast, because my my father, um, if not very many people like today now, if, Back then, if you knew my family at all and you know my dad, you can understand why that's so believable. He was the best bullshitter. Like, you yeah. believe whatever. And he's so charismatic mm -hmm. and so you might question something, but he would make sure he's like the best con artist ever. Yeah. And it usually followed with like a joke, Always. like something to make you laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're God. totally like, oh, I get like, this is normal, yes. I no, guess. Like, God, sure. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. that so is that's just, I have to pause like about who he was. Yeah. He's such a little shithead. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we'll make you laugh and you'll believe him when he's full on and a full blown yeah. lie. I mean, he could like, no lie, you could be in a room with 30 people. He, he was almost like a comedian, mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. And, and people then were dying. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so she's God. like, I mean, well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Um, so it's very funny. <laughs> it's funny a joke probably wasn't funny, funny then, but it's funny now. <laughs> so God, this is, can't believe this, is your, this was your life. I know. And I still sometimes, my, my, Lion was always like, I don't know how I got here. And what's even crazier is how I got out because some people don't get out. So mm -hmm. that's the other part uh, of it. So um, most don't, get most out, don't right? get out. Yeah. So that part of the story comes another day. But so are you going to talk about why Larry was arrested or is that later? That or? I'm that will be the next okay, episode gotcha. because right now we just kind of caught you up how I came here, how I visited. Yep. We're going to go, next episode is going to tell you the details, how they pulled off the biggest money laundering so crazy. and tax scam, daisy chain, mm, hundreds of millions of dollars that no they pulled off. Um, and that's to be continued. <laughs> so those who are listening, you're getting the inside scoop on what really went down from a wife of a uh, boss. This which, is so insane. If, I know, of the yeah, boss. and I there's a lot of people who are huge Michael Francisi fans. Yeah. So that is where um, he's like, still around, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of videos you can find with him. Oh, I've seen his stuff. I'm surprised he hasn't. I'll tell you why. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> that is why. So somebody we were laughing because I'm. I've been making those videos on TikTok yeah. if you follow me, whatever. So somebody commented and they're like, you are not related to these people. I've seen every um, documentary and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not related to my dad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but oh it's gosh. funny because it's only, you only get Michael Franzese's version. Yeah. He doesn't, I mean, most people don't know Larry Irizzo like in, in like YouTube land or in the mafia story land. Like mm -hmm. you don't know the people and yeah. that's why it makes me laugh. Cause I'm like, actually there is no documentary on this yeah. what we're telling you. So it's kind of funny. Pat uh, Patrick uh, said that he just saw that on Netflix is actually going to be a, a new series about all the five mob families. And then Michael is in it. No kidding. Coming mm -hmm. out. He said, I think next week. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. So which is crazy. Yeah. But for so this stay episode, tuned for part stay tuned. And now we're going to have party with Miss Polly. She is not able to phone in today. So we and I had no time to um, Skype with her, but we sent her the question and she answered it. Yeah. So Marcella will read it. Yes. So party with Miss Polly. <laughs> it's time to party with Miss Polly. The Okay, and go. <laughs> party with, with Miss Polly. Um, the question is, what is butthole sunning, and why do people do it, and butthole is it sunning? safe, and is it good for you? Butthole Have you heard of it? Sunning? It's like a new thing it. on it's, social media. It's so strange. What, what is it? Okay. Well, basically, you, you have to give your butthole 20 minutes, or no, 20 minutes, sorry, 30 seconds of sunlight. <laughs> You get that vitamin D. Is that, yeah. <laughs> that could be taken in so many I was going to say, ways. I could give some vitamin D. So I mean, 20 seconds for what's, what's the benefit? Like, well, she says, she answers, I guess. She said, apparently it is some kind of practice of Taoism. It's a Chinese philosophy, philosophy that says the perineum or huian 
is called The Gate of Life and Death. <laughs> Some people might refer the same. And is a gateway sorry, where so energy enters and exits the body. Enters. That's a first that I've ever <laughs> even kind of heard of that. And I've never even heard that question. Like, I mean, I know well, that uh, you know people can get more drunk if they put alcohol up their asshole. And that people can get more messed up on drugs if they put drugs up their butthole. What? Yeah, it's like fact, it's your called body absorbs like a, it quicker. What is it called? Uh, butt chugging. Just what? No, with, but like if you alcohol. put ecstasy What's up it your called? butt. Butt chugging. It's called something. Uh, butt I, yeah, chugging. I know. Your body <gasps> absorbs it quicker. Yeah. It so. could, yeah. Yeah. And the perineum is the taint, basically. Right. It's that area between the balls and anus. <laughs> and she says it's been made popular by social media influence, uh, influencers, but has no basis in medical benefits. <laughs> In fact, most doctors would tell you to protect your sensitive skin around your bum hole because it is more prone to cancer and sun damage. How in the world <laughs> did this become a topic? Like, the I never even heard of this. Social media influencer said she only recommends 30 seconds of perineum sunning, but the medical <sighs> professionals don't recommend it at all. And I'm going with science on this one. What? So in the here's world? what's funny. I I didn't even know I had no clue that she was going to ask Miss Polly this question. <laughs> but I just saw on Instagram and TikTok a bunch of yoga people doing it. Like, no way. Laying on their back with their, like, naked yoga, with their feet up in the air, full, like, happy baby, like, stretching, like, their asshole in the air. <laughs> and what is that the, happy baby? What is that? I've never oh, heard, heard of that either. That you I've never heard back. that either. Yo, I... <laughs> <laughs> that is so <laughs> funny. So, but what? So they That's said. Happy why baby. is that called Happy Baby? It's just the yoga stretch. Happy oh, it's baby. yoga. I've never heard that. This is like a whole. I feel like I'm pretty in tune with all the adult kind of stuff. This is completely new. I feel like a virgin right now. Well, so, I saw some comedian on TikTok. She's like a. She's a really funny woman, and she's standing in her camera, and her dress is up, but you don't really know what she's doing. And she's like leaning down to the camera. She's like, hi, guys. Um, I'm just doing the newest trending thing. You know, I'm tanning my butthole. And Which, I was like, who was it? I don't even know. Oh, I mean, she's so like funny. a TikTok girl or whatever. So then I looked it up and people are like, actually doing it before i even knew that this was your question which is it's, really funny. it's called butthole what is it called sunning, sunning. butthole sunning I've i have never heard of, heard of butthole I've, jugging either i've never heard it as chugging. i don't I've think i've ever it. heard you say butthole that's too funny i'm looking this up butthole surfers <laughs> butthole sunning tanning or sunning. something <laughs> so i guess would you tan your butthole i'm Dark as anything. So, <laughs> no. um, but, oh my gosh. Have you ever seen uh, this? What is his name? He's a comedian. And it's uh, it's this guy here. It's, oh my uh, God. It's on there. Yeah, he's on there. But he's like, oh, what is his name? It's uh, He's like a hippie. It's called Woke Woke AF is the name of the guy. But uh, oh, I gotta, I'll remember it. But, yeah. He, so I guess that's it. If anybody wants to sun. What is perineum sun sunning? Yeah. Doctors warn against butthole sunning so i can't find that but i found two places near here for vaginal tanning what why would i want to tan my vagina i don't know <gasps> yeah, and it... by the way don't most people want to bleach their genitals well i mean shouldn't you just like shave it all why <laughs> like why have hair down there anyways perennial sunning well i mean like they bleach the skin really for what yes anal <laughs> bleaching like all porn stars do it Giovanni, i mean what would yeah be the... giovanni so you can have a white butthole don't you have a tan butthole <laughs> like wouldn't that be <laughs> some people have a tan everything? i don't know because i guess here <laughs> they're you... saying to tan it and then some people are saying to whiten it i don't fucking know Just i've <laughs> never done it i mean i wouldn't think i wouldn't i'm tan, i'm pretty dark so i wouldn't even think about it but so even we for had, the health benefits i don't think i'd butthole well we had milani our little porn star gay porn star on here and he is all about the anal bleaching mm -hmm. so he recommends what was his products. rationale he just wants it to look like a porn pretty. star he said he wants it pretty. So weird. <laughs> so weird. And there's I mean, things that you can. And then I, you know, when he was talking about it, we were kind of looking it up and it's like you can totally bleach all your genitals so that it's like a, a same color of your skin. I mean, can you make a butthole look pretty <laughs> or can you make a vagina or balls look pretty? I mean, I guess no, they're you can't. Trying. Yeah, I mean, well, we, I guess we should go. In a vagina. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this Spider, is the closest we got a place task for you. So. <laughs> we got a task for you. Set up man. an appointment. Oh that my God. So I'm <laughs> Dude, that's so really anyway. That's really 
fucking weird. But would yeah. you do it? Where? No. Would you do it? No. No. Would I wouldn't you, do any of it. Would you do the tanning at your butthole part? No. Would you? I mean, I don't I, know. I can see how that's very unsafe, though. Like, I yeah. would feel like that is very probably sensitive area that doesn't need any. I mean, sunlight. wouldn't you want to put SPF of anything to keep from getting burned to get the <laughs> like know. X-ray? Well, that's why they're saying thirty seconds. I mean, it's and so is anybody weird. really staring at your butthole? Apparently so. Because <laughs> it's like I, I, apparently so. But. Well, I think the butthole sunning it gives you like energy. I guess I just want me to stand in the sun and get the energy from the top down exactly. instead of the bottom up. I don't really need to spread my That's nose. probably why you're but. so tired today. That could be it. <laughs> you could should be go it. outside. Yeah. My, nothing butthole. from like my waist down has seen the sun since I was a child. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> you know, if we were really amazing podcasters right now, we'd all go outside and do that. <laughs> No, we would not. Get our buttholes to there is a butthole sunning out behind us. There is, and we would all get Co arrested. Co no, we would get a That's lot of exactly views. Right. We get tons and tons of. Do you want me to go do the happy baby we outside? Can go over, yeah, we can go over to the strip bent club. Over and see the moon. Yes, over there. we could. You know what? There is a strip club right next door, yes. so we could do I that. I used one. to have my store in there. That's right. That's so funny. <laughs> I haven't been to that strip club in 15, 18 years. Don't waste I mean, your time. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of. They yeah. definitely are uh, still in business though, because I see people going in and out of there in the middle of the day from no. up here. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. They're like, by we're that. gonna go eat. Not to like, honestly, when we had the store, yeah, their food, food is, so is really good. <laughs> Most is the food good there? Yeah, good. Years decent. ago, I had oh my the uh, legs, and, legs and eggs. Yes. We were there. I think yes. not. At, that wasn't it was there. At the men's club. Yeah. I like tits right? and grits. Never had that. Legs and eggs is so good. Grits and grits. <laughs> I've never, had, I've never I don't, had that either. That's I've actually funny. never even had grits before. So grits are good. Never, really? Grits are really good. You would love their food over there. Back then, it was so good. It was like so club? healthy. No, at Silver, Silver City. City. Silver City. I We're like hyping up Silver City. I know. Right like <laughs> hyping up all the strip clubs. Yeah, I know. It's really awesome. Um, question of the day, please. Okay. Question of. Oh, all right. <laughs> we have that one. The two posh girls ask the question of the day. Okay. Would you let be okay with your significant other to be an OBGYN or a plastic surgeon? Yes. God, yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, yeah, for sure. I'm I mean, totally fine with it. But I mean, where would that be an issue? I mean, because I promise you that an OBGYN is not looking at a vagina. Of, I mean, maybe when they're in residency, when they're first getting to see some vaginas, but I'm as confident they're seeing some nasty yeah. uh, 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 vaginas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then at that point, a mm -hmm. vagina looks like a vagina. I mean, that, yeah, but a plastic surgeon. That would be a cool job. Um, you and I would totally date someone who's a plastic surgeon. <laughs> you can go through any kind of, like, there's so many specialties you can go to. You can go to rhinoplasty, which is just noses. You could do chins. You could do uh, eyelids. I mean, there's all sorts it's of specialties. It's probably talking about, like, a boob doctor or a boob surgeon. But, but I can, I got to imagine that, uh, I mean, I'm purely guessing because I'm clearly not a plastic surgeon, but boobs have got to be just so boring after a while. If you say, <laughs> like, a thousand so. boobs. <laughs> I mean, that exciting yeah anymore. i mean it, it, i guess it depends on who it's attached to i think it would be more concerning about all the beautiful women that would go to him and try to steal him from you no i wouldn't care <laughs> should i be in my big mansion and be like take him bitch i don't care I'll be here. <laughs> how got half of this shit how <laughs> no i don't just know just try it. and if i'm dating a plastic <laughs> surgeon i'd assume that i would look like perfect anyway there's <laughs> all sorts of perks to it for sure there's for all sure. the free botox and all of that stuff. All of it. Because they have reps that come and give them free yeah. samples all the time. I yeah. would love that, actually. Yeah. I Fix that everything. Yeah, Are there Carrie any plastic Duber. surgeon women listening? Um, <laughs> yes, Kara Duber. We got a single Puerto <laughs> Rican single. in here. Oh, and, uh, single. Plastic that's right. surgeons. That's right. I'm talking That's for, your sugar talking mama. Me. That's right. That's you right. You missed out on Roxanne. She's not a plastic surgeon, but so, she used to be single. So, oh, we work out at the same gym. I heard. So I saw her. I met her, her, her fiance. Yeah. It's funny. Her ex or ex husband and her work at the same gym. No it's, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, they work at the same gym at the same mm -hmm. time. And so, yeah, but I met, uh, I made it a point to go up to him after I saw her. I was like, hey, where's your fiance? Because I just, I didn't want, I mean, yeah, I didn't want so this silly. dude saying some jacked cut dude talking to his girl. So I was like, hey, I just want to introduce myself. Your fiance was on our show. And so I'm really good about doing stuff like that because, you know, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't no, know who I am. Good. So, but, um, 
Yeah, no, All that right. doesn't help me out now. She's a, you know, fiance. Well. So let's work on this, guys. Yeah. Let's work on this. <laughs> Single plastic surgeons call in the show. Uh, <laughs> Single female plastic uh, surgeons call in the seeking show. Seeking arrangement. That was the sugar daddy, sugar daddy. Oh, website. seeking arrangement. Yeah. You need to get on that. Or Shella, set me up an account. Let's make this happen. Okay, let's oh, do it. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a break and set up Bernie on this account. All right. And you guys, thank you for listening. Don't forget thank to subscribe, you. please. And do it, do it, do don't it. forget about YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.